Hi everyone, welcome to the Scorpio New Moon. This is a very big life changing energy is what I'm hearing. Very transformative time and we are going to be protecting this space. I have new spray for keeping the ghosts away. It's actually called Ghostbuster Spray. So no demons or any entities will be allowed during this reading and um, or any of my readings <laughs> but know that this is constantly going to be sprayed in the air i have relocated and there are still feels to be psychic attacks at times when i'm attempting to make videos so it's very interesting know that this is what happens when you are holding a lot of light when you are reaching many people and uh, <laughs> I I have this new deck. It's the Priestess of the Light deck. So they very clearly want this to be a Twin Flame reading. We have the Twin Flames card here coming through and go with the flow. So it's about letting go of how you believe this journey is supposed to be unfolding. This journey is an eternal connection and you are receiving many downloads here. Um, you're stepping into your ability to realize your power and how forceful you are to make things happen uh, as a result of you stepping into this ancient power that you hold. So as a twin flame, uh, you have been activated to be on mission above all else. And as a divine feminine, I feel like part of what you're doing is holding a balance between realms and you are also standing very firm here it says stability this is a 40 card and this is a four card so you are quite literally bringing into the physical world much more stability i feel like this is a message for divine feminines but i will make it general for twin flame because this card wanted to come out today i feel like you might be channeling wolf spirit so if you're feeling very connected to the wolves there is a, a tie in to being very wild very unpredictable very primal in your energy and we are really getting back to how it must have felt like to be native american to be aborigines to be of the earth and without any kind of technology interference whatsoever we are um, getting the grays um, have interfered with our flow of life. And what we're doing is we are returning to the flow prior to any technology interference. So we're undoing this last, I'd say 100 years of a lot of interference where these concepts of power and stability, balance, uh, twin flame, soulmates, these types of concepts, and they were not merely concepts to those who were not corrupted by demon and archon technology. These concepts were just inner wisdom that was known in these types of cultures. And that's coming through very heavily for some reason. I feel like it's a message that we are dismantling and we are detaching from the metaverse, <laughs> from where technology feels like it's going. The metaverse, whatever that is that Facebook is turning into, looks like nothing I want any part of. It looks like a virtual reality and not a true real life that you are living is turning you more into a robot. So we have energy here of strength and woman holding a heart is definitely for divine feminine holding strength of power here and your ability to move into um, much more power in your life and that as a, a result from tapping into this unconditional eternal love that you have found this connection to the higher realms through your connection with your soul partner your divine love uh, whatever stage of the journey that you are in tell me about the divine masculines please they want to talk about the feminines today i purposely wanted to get a deck that had a twin flames card in it 
so that you could all see that when I attempt to make videos about general messages, they always reroute me onto the twin flame journey to either deliver you divine masculine or divine feminine messages. So masculines are getting all tied up. The masculines feel like they're not sure what to do. They're not going with the flow. <laughs> they feel like uh, it's a frozen feeling. I get this very, very often for divine masculines on the journey. So keep in mind, if you're divine masculine watching and you're not a twin flame, some of these messages may not resonate for you. Uh, also, if you are switched in your energies, sometimes divine masculine can present in a female body and vice versa. A lot of divine feminines are more in their masculine and are in a masculine body. So always take whatever general message is resonating for you. And if the whole thing is not, you're not feeling it, <laughs> turn it off. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, not all messages about twin flames are for every twin flame. So I'll just say that. Um, tell me more about the masculines and this tied up energy. I do feel it's going to change very swiftly and dramatically with Scorpio, new moon, Scorpio season. It's all about dramatic change, door to romance. Yeah, it's, um, I've said this before, twin flame energy does not move very fast. So you may find that we're going to get repeating messages from the last reading, which was a few days ago. They are wanting to move into a romantic connection, intimate connection with you, uh, with the feminine. And there is this feeling of not sure how to move forward toward romance. It may be also I'm hearing friendship. I'm hearing open the door to friendship first. This romance, you could say door to friendship, door to checking in and door to communication, door to really anything to just try to um, reestablish some kind of connection. It feels like that's what they are wanting to do and they're not sure how to do it. So I'm gonna clarify with Tarot here about the connection itself, union energy. Actually, give me a energy card for union, please. And they are, okay, you're getting a match here for union energy. Envy came out in reverse and man holding a heart, which matches uh, is a match with woman holding a heart here. So we've got the feminine, we have the masculine energy, and we have twin flames. <laughs> so yes, this feels like a message from the Pleiadians. Pleiadians are very much about connecting people, connecting the uh, romance, the intimacy, the um, repairing relationships. And envy has been, this is something that has stood in your way to this connection. There's been jealousy, there's been third party, there's been something here. Uh, one feels like you've had more success than the other one and it's now flipped. So it feels like the masculine is more appreciative of the feminine and not holding a grudge or holding anything. Like sometimes the masculines have had ideas for feminines about what they should do uh, or something the masculine actually wanted to do themselves and accomplish themselves that the feminine ended up doing and the feminine ended up running with it, having a lot of success from it. And it left the masculine feeling very envious. So that is something that has happened to many twins on the journey because the feminine tends to cut things out, make changes very fast whereas the masculine stays more in the idea phase and it can lead them to holding uh, back from the feminines because they feel like they don't have anything to offer because the feminine did what they wanted to do themselves and the feminine was very successful and it feels like the masculine will never be able to catch up to where feminine is. A masculine here and this is a spiritual journey so likely whatever the feminine has done has integrated has been a spiritual um, upgrade has been a spiritual or a sexual upgrade is what i'm hearing they step really into your innate femininity and sexuality and it's not cheap it is um not scandalous it's actually very integrated and very uh, authentic 
expression. So this is not necessarily something a uh, very large scale that the feminine has done. It could be simply a personality shift that is very uh, charming and attractive that the masculine also sees and would like to embody themselves. So um, tell me more about feminine. Okay, five of wands. Feminine is still feeling conflicted about the masculine. I feel like a lot of feminines feel like it's been too much in and out, hot and cold. I'm getting someone turning this off and on like it's a faucet on and off, on and off, hot and cold. And they're not sure which version of the masculine will appear. If the masculine does appear, they're not quite sure if they've done work on themselves. They're not sure what stage they're at. They're not sure who they would get if the masculine were to emerge or were to start to want to be on this mission more in unity. So we have the emperor. The, ma the feminine is manifesting this divine masculine energy to be ready. And I feel like we can all start to do this with love. We have Ace of Cups on the bottom here. So the feminine is holding out a cup of love for your divine masculine here, always. You are always holding love for them. And if you aren't, if you're feeling conflicted, if you're feeling like you were abandoned or you were rejected, you don't want to be vulnerable, you don't want to open your heart, the message from the Pleiadians is if this is a true twin flame journey that you are on, you'll never lose this amount of love that you have for this person. It's actually what keeps you going. It's what keeps you uh, staying in a high vibration because the unconditional love, the fifth dimension, Christ consciousness that you feel at all times is what moves you forward now in your life. It is what is moving and cracking open the masculine energy uh, all masculines, especially your divine masculine, is a, it's cracking them open to realizing that they possess the strength to come forward, the strength to join you on the journey. So let's see with this tarot deck about the masculines, the door to romance, the um, being tied up, <laughs> hopefully not in bed with another person. <laughs> Although if it is, it's part of the journey. So it's like we have to not feel any sort of um, attachment to them in this old way. If your masculine is destined and karmically to go with someone else, to have a family with someone else, to have a child with someone else, it does not take any of the energy away from you, your connection. It does not take away anything from your twin flame journey. It's about that that is their trajectory, that's their soul contract, and that will not apply, obviously, to all of you, uh, but we are all on different journeys, and know that likely your worst fear of what your masculine could do in this lifetime that would be considered against you if they choose to opt out, if they choose to go with someone else, whatever, that is likely because that's what they did in a past life. That is likely a karmic wound and it gets re-triggered. And know that the masculine also feels these wounds from past life and they stay away from you a lot of the time because energetically they're afraid of the karma repeating. They have left you many lifetimes before and they, a lot of times left you for dead um, because these, <laughs> these connections are very intense. And so they don't want to do that again. There's something that they feel the connection is very dangerous for them. And know that a lot of it doesn't make sense unless you look at it from, this is a lot of twin flame karma that is still being played out. But this is the lifetime where the earth supports these unions, the higher dimensional beings support these unions, and it is a destined thing where we are going to bring about massive change for the better. And we have to relive these karmic cycles with our twin in order to get through them, get to the other side of them and purge it and leave it behind. Page of Swords. So your masculine feels like they're very close to you with this energy. They feel like they're right next to you, right sitting on your shoulder almost. 
that they are looking at everything you're doing, that they are learning, that they are wanting to ascend and they are absorbing much information behind the scenes. If you are in communication with them, I feel like it's always high vibrational. It just may be that you hear from them and then you don't hear from them for a very long time. But when you do hear from them, it's always for them to let you know that they are thinking of you or that they are learning, that they are growing. Tell me more about the masculines. Okay. We have two of wands. They're at a choice point. I'm hearing a crossroads. Knight of wands. This is wanting to move forward with passion, the chariot, um, soon. So this is not like a long time here. The chariot moves very fast and furious towards a specific direction with passion. So I'm getting that the masculines feel they've been tied up in a situation that has been lacking passion, they've been lacking momentum. I feel like they've been tied up in old situations that are beneath them that they're not serving their ascended self. They These are situations that started prior to many of these masculines meeting their feminine, prior to them getting starseed activations and spiritual awakenings. So they've had you on the back burner. There's a lot of fire energy here, um, metaphors. They've had the feminine on the back burner and they are now feeling like once this situation is freed up, they are going to move out of it. I don't know that this means they're gonna move straight to connecting with the feminine, although you do have door to romance. So it could be about communication, but I definitely feel whatever it is, is they're only wanting to move with this creative energy where they feel mm, excited, where they feel inspired. There's a lot of this for masculines. And this message has been in one way or another coming through for the better part of this whole year. <laughs> so I do sometimes feel like I'm repeating myself because it just keeps getting stronger. It doesn't go away. It doesn't ever change. It's just, are they ready yet? Uh, because the universe, the guides, they do keep putting some things in the masculine's way. And I do feel like there's there's been many attempts to move forward with passion and then some sort of sabotage energy happens for masculines and it's a, it's a roadblock, it's a setback and they get reset to zero. Okay, what just flipped? The overall energy is severing. So it's about leaving something pretty major behind. It would have to be major for this amount of energy to be here. So it's a marriage, it's a business, it's a way of life, it's a way of thinking, it's who they are, it's a death, it's an ego death. That's why it's coming through in Scorpio season again. The, the severing energy just came through in the last video. So it's here because I wanted to know, and they just told me to use the Starseed Oracle deck again, softening to love is the key. So that is why, again, the feminine's best um, energy to be embodying is this fifth dimension energy of love and forgiveness. So let's ask who is guiding these unions at this time. And then I feel like I'll wrap it up because it was a very similar message to the one the other day, I feel, but maybe we got some new messages in there as well. Okay. So we have, <laughs> appropriate, we have Serapis Bay Ascension and St. Germain Karma Releasing. So the main message here for this reading is twin flames are capable of having karma. They can, they are not karmic relationships, but they have karma because you have incarnated with your twin many times. And Ascension is we are ascending past the karma and we are moving into this next phase this next stage of manifesting in the physical of manifesting um, miracles miraculous timelines and keep summoning your power to you know how powerful you are there is a it's very easy to slip back into 
doubting yourself, doubting the connection. And especially if it's been a very long time that you haven't spoken to your twin, or if your twin is just simply not showing you that higher dimensional version of them that you know exists. So keep trusting and keep manifesting it. Create your own path here with St. Germain. Call on St. Germain to, if you're a divine masculine watching this, call on St. Germain to put anything that you cannot control in the violet flame so that burns up on arrival. Because your feminine not knowing where you are is very painful for the feminine. I will say it's very painful when the feminine does not know exactly what's going on with their masculine and um, all they can feel is a tangled up uncertain energy and it is uh, always best I feel to bring everything out into the light <laughs> instead of keeping it all in the shadows. So let's see what archetypes we have. They want me to leave you with an archetype card. Um, warrior. Embody your warrior spirits. Twin flames are not here to be sheep. Twin flames are not here to be um, very low on the totem pole. You're here to be light warriors, both of you. And that is the energy that is needed as we move into the rest of this year and beyond. So I'll leave it there today. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a personal reading, Twin Flame or otherwise, please reach out and book. The link is in the description box. I did make a website, so in case all my accounts disappear, I have a website now. And that's also in my link. Um, I feel like that's the message today, so I am sending you all much love and light. Enjoy this new moon and take care.